We are in peak weed season for our pollen count. And the fact that we had dry weather yesterday for most of us, dry weather again today, that's going to be back in the high category. Ragweed season runs through mid October, so we're just getting this thing going. It's certainly going to be one of those days if you suffer from allergies, you're going to want to take that allergy pill or uh, just avoid being outside during peak pollen hours, which ends around 3 p.m. So you got a couple more hours and then it does uh, tend to get a little bit better in the evenings. We have a mostly clear sky right now. Uh, really not much going on at all. Temperatures have been soaring because of the southwest wind that's in place right now. 19 mile per hour sustained wind. We have gusts in excess of 25 to 30 miles per hour possible through the afternoon. Going to be a rather warm day today. So because of that, uh, we're going to be feeling the heat. The rain holds off though until later tonight until after about sunset. In fact, rain chance near 0%. Cloud cover starts to build in in the evening. We're going to ramp that up to 30%. This is for the Indy Metro. It depends on where you are in the state because the rain's going to come in first to areas northwest and then eventually push south. Believing the best time frame for Indy to get in on these uh, showers and thunderstorms is going to be right around midnight before they taper off into the overnight. 82 next hour. We're back to 85 by 3 p.m. That'll be your high temperature for the day. 82 degrees as the sun starts to set during the 7 o'clock hour and then the rain returns. We drop into the 70s. So here's the latest timeline as the storm system approaches from the northwest. We'll bring in a few increased clouds by 5 p.m. for that evening drive home, but we're going to still be dry at that point. Here comes that boundary. This is at 8 o'clock. We have some uh, potential here that we get in on some brief heavy downpours. We've got a damaging wind threat. Some of these storms embedded within this line could be on the strong to severe side, watching that potential as well. Here comes this line as it approaches the metro right around midnight, and then it continues to lose momentum kind of start to fall apart as the atmospheric dynamics will be a little less in southern Indiana. That's through about three o'clock in the morning and that all of this continues to move out by the time we wake up Wednesday morning. In fact, tomorrow morning the sky already clearing 62 degrees at 8 a.m. We're back to 74 by noon. Not going to be as warm tomorrow as it is today with highs only in the upper 70s as some more pleasant air returns on the backside of that frontal system. 77 in Muncie tomorrow, 80 in Greencastle and 79 in Bloomington. And temperatures will remain more pleasant for the remainder of the week as well. This cooler air mass from Canada going to push south, reinsuring that cooler air that's going to be around. We've got overnight lows in the 50s looking ahead at Thursday and Friday as well. So certainly going to feel a little bit more fall like as we end uh, the uh, latter part of this week. Heading into the weekend though. That pleasant air mass is going to retreat. We've got a heating trend already on Saturday, 84 after a morning low of 60. That's for that arts fair that's going to take place. Beautiful day for that. Partly sunny on Sunday with a high back near 85. Still going to be looking at some sunny skies and warmer temperatures on Monday with that next best chance of rain returning on Tuesday.